Last year at Google I.O., we announced Google AI. It's a collection of our teams and efforts to bring the benefits of AI to everyone. And we want this to work globally, so we are opening AI centers around the world. AI is going to impact many, many fields. And I want to give you a couple of examples today. Healthcare is one of the most important fields AI is going to transform. Last year, we announced our work on diabetic retinopathy, which is a leading cause of blindness, and we use deep learning to help doctors diagnose it earlier. And we've been running field trials since then at Aravind and Sankara hospitals in India, and the field trials are going really well. We are bringing expert diagnosis to places where trained doctors are scarce. It turned out, using the same retinal scans, there were things which humans quite didn't know to look for, but our AI systems offered more insights. Your same eye scan turns out holds information with which we can predict the five-year risk of you having an adverse cardiovascular event, heart attack or strokes. So to me, the interesting thing is that you know, more than what doctors could find in these eye scans, the machine learning systems offered newer insights. This could be the basis for a new non-invasive way to detect uh, cardiovascular risk, and we are working. We just published the research, and we are going to be working to bring this to field trials with our partners. Another area where AI can help is to actually help doctors predict medical events. Turns out doctors have a lot of difficult decisions to make, and for them, getting advance notice, say 24 to 48 hours before a patient is likely to get very sick, has a tremendous difference in the outcome. And so we have put our machine learning systems to work. We've been working with our partners using de-identified medical records. And it turns out if you go and analyze over 100,000 data points per patient, more than any single doctor could analyze, we can actually quantitatively predict the chance of readmission 24 to 48 hours before earlier than traditional methods. It gives doctors more time to act. We are publishing our paper on this later today, and we are looking forward to partnering with hospitals and medical institutions.